So hey guys, welcome back for a new video of the Introspection Academy YouTube channel. Um, let's talk a bit about the altar scale guys today, right? I'm going to give a demonstration, some finger rings, and let's learn one line together with an in-screen temperature. So if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I think it's the most fair, polite, just way of letting me know that you appreciate me. When you have a breakthrough, when you have really learned something here, you just say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really watching this guy and... and and he's always talking about his premium courses that will come out. I'm, I'm curious what it is. Well, just subscribe to the channel. That's your most basic way of appreciating what I do. Secondly, it's almost criminal if you buy now did not download that free PDF. It's a 10-page PDF, 22 hour pressure shapes, guys. I mean, more than 150 people have downloaded it already and it's on, only two weeks up. Um, I consider it to be the missing link. Arpeggios is the missing link between what you do now, maybe as a rock and a blues player, to what we need to be or need to get to, which is this fusion style of Greg Howe, right? Or you're already an advanced player. I really urge you to download that PDF, print it out, and just check if you know all shapes, because this is essential. These, these are just as essential as your five pentatonic shapes, right? It's just that essential. It is the missing link. Uh, to get into the fusion style. All right. So first of all, all right, let's go. Let's go and um, go to the alter scale talk, and I'm gonna demonstrate it first, right? You'll hear the chord, bird, the chords progression of the Bird's Eye View song. Bird's Eye View is a song of uh, on the interest on the extraction album, and it's a cool chord progression in there, which really forces Greg, almost forces Greg to play the alter scale. So I'll play exactly his solo, how he played it on his channel, not the whole of it, but a part of it. And I'll shout it out when I'll, I'll use the other scale and then we'll get into a bit of explanation. So let's hear it to work. Uh, let's hear the other scale get to work first and then I'll explain. <laughs> function in a moment. This is a G alter scale. Now guys, if you know what I'm always talking about, never learn it like that. This is um, on every string three notes, right? And if you're not careful on the internet, you'll find you'll you'll find it like that and you'll learn it like that and you'll end up with seven shapes because the math behind it is if Always the case. If you learn three per string, you get seven shapes, and we don't learn seven shapes. We, you need to find five shapes. So please type in G alter scale or alter scale five shapes. All right. So that's the way how you learn it, and uh, that's what I've been telling you about. Now the th the trick I typically do to get rid of the of the uh, to get it into the five shapes. Right is to lose the stretcher. Stretcher is a fingering with a thread in between. <laughs> Come across it immediately on the fifth string here. So let's lose the stretcher by eliminating that note, that pinky here, the third note, and find it on the string below. Is that a solution 
now? No! It again takes us diagonally, but now in that direction. So that's why I wanted to really point it out. It is not the solution here to remove the stretches. There is another solution. Ending up always with the same thing. Let's try to keep our scale shapes as vertically as possible. That's the goal. But the tool here is different than the major mode thing. And I consider it like that, right? So every time I cross a root note, across root note, I play four notes. Start the alter scale appropriately, appropriately as it needs to be done. One flat two flat three. But then another semitone. Then I play two notes on the string below. every note of the alter scale by just learning that pattern. And then I go... Just go to the internet guys, type in alter scale 5 shapes or type in alter scale gauged, right? You'll find a one pager of many people who have put it out there. It's just the alter scale in 5 shapes and that's how you should learn it. Right, so, but personally for me, I always, here again, root note, I do, and once I do that, I know where my fingers need to go. but it's so incredibly hot in Belgium. It's, it's been continuously 30 degrees C and it's, it's no good weather to play guitar in. <laughs> Which is completely off topic here. So yeah, learn the altered scale in five shapes, guys. Just as I explained to learn the major modes, Ionian or Infrigion, you can all learn it in five shapes. Never, 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 when you go onto the mighty internet, you download a PDF or something or a page, it comes out of your printer, you're going to learn a scale. Once you see a scale depicted with three notes per strings on every string, you know you're wrong. I mean, that's the message for me all the time, because it always leads up to shapes that are way too diagonal and takes you away from the chord shape. Alright, so what is now the function of that? Why do we need an alter scale? Well, the bird's eye view song really um, is a lesson in itself about that. What is the progression? C minor 7 A minor 7 A flat major 7 G7 starts again and it's here where it's needed when we go to that from that G7 back to the one chord of the progression which is a C minor 7 we call it a 5-1 move all right call it I call it the 5-1 move it's everywhere in music right so the fifth degree of a C minor scale one two three four five right And the function is to have some tension before we go back to the to the one. <laughs> and by convention, when you need some tension, you use dominant chords, right? So, so I'm going to use a G7. tension in the dominant chord by you do, doing an alter dominant chord. How, eh? You know how you do that, right? You add a flat 5 sharp 5, flat 9 sharp 9, one of those four. I choose the sharp 5, I love it.
It's really too hot to play guitar today. <laughs> anyway, so that is the function, guys. You use the altered scale in the five moment. That beautiful, most of the time, short moment when there's this five chord. There's this moment of tension right before the progression completely turns back to because it's like kind of a turn around, right? Back to the one chord. And the bird's eye view is a perfect example of that. Um, let's learn a line together to finish off this video, guys. So um, there are five shapes. I love them all, but I need to choose one for you guys for this video. And I'm choosing this one here. So again, I'm. <laughs> My trick when I hear the root note and I need to play the alter scale, I'm doing four notes. Always the same one flat two flat three, and a semi tone. Then two notes, six eight, and then again six eight, nine on the bottom string, six seven nine. So we have those are the four notes, four plus two, plus two, and then it's really the same as here. It's a really important fragment to learn, guys. Okay, so yeah, and then again, let's not play it like that, but let's do this. is using that all the time. Where can I go now? Of course. And it's really cool to do this. I have the temperature up there guys, but yeah, I'm using... Demonstrate it one more time or one time over the backing track and then I'm let, let you guys, guys go, right? Now, but the line is actually a straight 60 note thing. Anyway, you need to uh, try it out, right? I'm leaving the link below of the backing track I've been using. Um, and yeah, that's the other scale crammed into 14 minutes for you guys. But uh, don't be afraid of it, it's just scale like another and uh, there's only one more scale that you need to know right so you got the major modes I only, I only know refrigerant and so on there's the alter scale which is basically just one mode of the melodic minor family and so on and so on and, so on. and then there's finally uh, maybe I'll do a video on that in a few weeks time or something about the harmonic minor scale right that's also a really cool scale with many, many cool options for you guys uh, to check out, but that's for later. For now, just have some fun with the other scale, guys. If you don't know it, then maybe this video just serves for you guys. Hmm, he's doing a lot of cool things with it. Uh, it's something like, all right, I need to get a little bit to work with that one. You know what to do. Learn it, the five shapes. Um, for the more advanced guys, just study that line, guys, and just study that really cool. Make sure you know that that fragment here, there's many cool things. If you like a bit my faster stuff that I did, you can always slow it down on YouTube, you know, that, and, and maybe transcribe it what I was doing there, so. All right, guys, enough said. See you next week, and don't leave without uh, downloading that PDF, guys, or you'll never know your shapes.
all right <laughs> see you next week bye bye